This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. And by House Call Pro. If you're still handwriting invoices or using any kind of paper for your business, it's time to get with the times and check out House Call Pro for dispatching, scheduling, invoicing, estimates, texting customers to let them know that you're on the way, and texting them to let them know when the job is complete, accepting payments, whether it's cash, check, credit, or credit card processing. Check out House Call Pro. For a free demo, go to www.housecallpro.com forward slash Israel HVAC for a free demo and a discount on the product. Okay, guys, we are here at my unit, my personal unit. It is elevated off the ground because this is a flood area or a possible flooding area. There's my next door neighbor's unit. His is the same way. So we have the, the P51 870 Titan Digital Manifold from Yellow Jacket. We have her ready to go. This is an R22 machine. Now keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to keep your manifold as close to the line set as possible because there is not a lot of slack in these cables for your pipe clamps. Let's power it up. Okay, now you get a sense of what it looks like, so we're gonna press that. Okay, there's our standing pressure. You can see we're set to 410A. So we're gonna hit this gear up here and change that, change refrigerant. Yeah, oh, look at this, this is pretty cool. Let's go to R22 is what we want. Okay, we're set to R22, so we'll hit exit. Now we're set to R22. Okay, let's see what the, let's get the machine fired up. And I will do that using my Honeywell app. It's not that hot in my house, so I'll have to crank it down a little bit. Okay, I just turned it on. So let's, uh, let's wait for it to kick on. Oh, there it goes. All right, so the machine just started. And what I like here is it keeps a time clock from how long you've had it on. So two minutes, 22 seconds. There's our battery life. Uh, now, as you can see, this is a Goodman machine, and uh, I've been to my air handler in the attic uh, before, and we're running a piston. So, okay, so it does time. I think there's a setting where you can uh, set that not to time out. Let's, uh, let's figure out how to get there. Device settings. Backlight timer, 60 seconds. Let's do five minutes. Okay. Suction pressure's coming up. We got seven and a half degrees of subcooling. Superheat is a little high. Uh, low, it's got a low load in the house, so. I'm thinking my superheat is probably gonna require a lower superheat than that. But we'll see. We'll let it run for about five or 10 minutes. Let it stabilize. You can hit that and it, uh, it still gives you your superheat and your temperatures. And it gives you like a, uh, a chart. Same thing over here. To see if anything spikes. Easy to read. Coils at 37 degrees, condensers at 90. 
and then you court you know you got your T1 your T2 your condenser temperature your evaporator temperature your superheat and your sub cooling and then of course your pressure in digital and analog form this is a really really nice manifold I really like it it's a uh, you know, like I said last night, or the other night on the uh, unboxing video, it's very well built. It's not cheap. And uh, I'm, I'm impressed with it so far. Okay, so now I have the manifold connected to the Mantooth app. Low pressure, high pressure, suction temperature, I'm sorry, saturation temperatures, your line temperatures, and your superheat is 21.9, subcooling is 5.7. Let's see what kind of range we can get out of this thing. Okay. Pressures are still, they're changing. You know, you can see the point two moving, so that means it's still connected. Walk around here to my porch. they're still changing so we're still connected Let's say we're about uh, 20 20 about 20 feet away that's better than the testos for sure testo smart probes and the manifold well disconnection okay so it doesn't look like you can go very far. I think my unit just shut down. I'm reconnecting it. Okay. No, my unit's still running, okay? It's the neighbors that shut down. So we've been running about 10 minutes maybe more because the time does reset every time you like change a function my pressures are not looking bad i still need to get a target uh target superheat which i believe you can do in here yeah outdoor dry bulb indoor wet and it'll give you a uh target superheat i'll have to go measure my wet bulb But my superheat has come down. Let's uh let me get a wet bulb measurement inside and then we'll we'll enter it in the app. Alright, my wet bulb was 62. My dry is 76, or let's say 77. So we'll go in here. Dry. 7.7, seven. wet bulb, what did I say, 62. All right, so our target superheat is 14.5. So we are right on that tolerance of five. And if you look here, we're at a 20 degree superheat, our target. So we're right at that plus or minus five target. So, I think I'm gonna leave the charge alone for right now. So, you know, pretty cool. Uh, you can do target superheat. I mean, you, you, you have an app. It's uh, all touch screen. It, it reacts very easily. I couldn't find my gloves. 
a guy named Chance that joins the hangouts every weekend was asking about gloves. Uh, I don't know where my gloves are at, so I can't do that, but I really don't think it's gonna be an issue with gloves because uh, I did it last night with a marker. I'll actually take uh, this, the top, to my uh, cyclometer, and I think it'll react to this. Yeah, see, it reacts to that. So, I don't think it would uh, be an issue. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that short video on a demonstration of the Yellow Jacket P51-870 Titan Digital Manifold. Just by using it, that short time that I did, I was impressed. I like the app. I like the durability of the manifold. The, you know, it's it's you can tell it's not cheaply built. Um, I like the fact that the app will tar will calculate target superheat for you. Um, I also like that you can turn your brightness down. You can turn you know how long you before it dims down. I really like the manifold a lot. Uh, the only negatives that I could find. For me, a four-valve manifold is always a negative. I don't like four-valve manifolds. I never have. I don't use the fourth valve for vacuum. I always, I, I mean, back in the day, you know, we used to just pull through a three-valve manifold. But, I, you know, I use hoses now, the Appian hoses and uh, stuff like that. So the fourth valve for me it, it is useless. It'll never get used. I mean, I may try the Micron part of it one day to see, but as far as a daily thing, it'll never get used. Um, but that's not a negative of the manifold. I mean, a lot of guys love four-valve manifolds, so that's not a negative of the manifold itself. That's just a negative for me because I don't use it. Uh, the I, th I think the other two big negatives are the pipe clamp cord length. is it should It could be much better. They're very short, so make sure, like I said at the beginning of the video, that you have your manifold close to your valves and to your line set because you do not have slack like the field piece. Uh, they're not even as long as the testos. The testos are longer. Um, I think field piece has got the best length on uh, the pipe clamp wiring. But um, So, you know, don't expect to hang your the manifold on the disconnect and have enough slack, you know, it's just, unless the disconnect's down low by the line set, but, you know, it's just not going to happen um, unless you unplug them, you know, which that's useless. Uh, I mean, unless you're going to wash a unit and you just want to get them out the way, you can hang them and unplug them, but, you know, it is what it is. But So that's a negative, I think, is that the uh, the cords could be longer and the hook. The hook not not that the hook is not durable, it is, but it's not flexible. It it's it's straight, it'll twist, but it will not bend. It's you know, it doesn't bend, you know, side to side or up and down like Testo and uh field piece. So that can uh I you know, I, I'd call that a negative. You know, sometimes that can be a pain. It, it's you know, it, it you get what you get. It's straight. The only thing it'll do is twist. It will not bend. So, I mean, it's not a, it's definitely not a deal breaker. Um, but just keep in mind that the hook is not flexible. Other than that, I think everything else is positive. Everything's well built. It's solid. The knobs are durable. You know, Testo had issues with their knobs. I don't think you're going to have issues with these. Very well built. Um, the touch screen is awesome. It's not one of those touch screens that you have to, you know, pound on. I mean, it reacts very easily. I mean, it even reacted to uh, the top of my cyclometer here. Psychrometer. I always have a hard time saying that. It. I mean, I took this and punched it, and it reacted to it, no problem. So, um, um. The coloring is great. The brightness is great. You can turn it down however you like it. If you like it super bright or not that bright, that, that's all adjustable. Um, 
Yeah, and I think that's all I got. If I missed something, or you'd like, or if you have another question, feel free to email me at j israel h v a c at gmail dot com. I will put that email right here or right right here somewhere on the screen. Or you can now call and text me. I have a separate phone number for my YouTube. Uh, it still links to my cell phone, but it's a Google Voice number. But I can text on it. I can talk on it. So you can email the email, or you can call me at or text me at 225-308-1740. Again, I'll put that phone number somewhere on the screen here as well. So you've got the email and the phone number somewhere on the screen. <laughs> All right, guys. The next item for uh, that I have to unbox is the Navac 6 CFM regular corded pump. I still have to do a review on the 2 CFM pump, which is sitting right here. I was supposed to do one, but I had a doctor's appointment that particular day when I did that TXV change out. I didn't have enough time to do it. I was already running late. So, but rest assured, we will get that review done. I'm I'm going to put at, no. Yeah, that's right. The the vacuum pumps already in the truck. I already have the 2 CFM in the truck ready to use. The the Titan manifolds are now in the truck as well. So they will be getting used regularly as well. All right, guys. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>